To the channel my name is chris kwan it has been a while since i've done an actual pickup video most of the stuff that i got is honestly gifts from my girlfriend uh, my birthday passed recently too so it's just a bunch of that stuff also tyler and simon making a comeback to the channel showing off some pickups they had as well but let's not waste any time let's just get right into it let's start with footwear first So I've been looking for a pair of derbies for the longest time now. I just wanted something that was a little fancier and classier than all the other footwear options I had. So I was on the lookout for an everyday derby. These were gifted for my birthday from my girlfriend. So shout out to my girlfriend. These are the Ore NYC Stelvio derbies. I already have another pair of Ore NYC boots. These have been compared to the likes of Guidi quality wise. I never had a personal pair of Guidi but these do feel really nice. Uh, the leather is super buttery, super smooth. It feels really nice to the touch and it has a nice sleek silhouette. It's not too bulky, not too slim. Honestly, perfect for every day. It can be casual, dressed up, dressed down, anything. So very versatile what I find for in my derby. So these also have a crepe sole. So it's not as durable as like a Vibram sole, but I have seen other people resole them with Vibram soles. I do live in Canada, so it gets really snowy and dirty. They're actually kind of cooked already, but once they're super cooked, I might just resole them. They also have this really nice detail on the lacing system as well. It's like a hiking lacing system. There's some stitching that is not up to par, but overall it is a really nice pair of derbies. I've been wearing these all summer long. It is super comfortable for what it is. And I feel like this pair of footwear is gonna be in my rotation for the longest time. So I feel like it's worth the investment, but then again, it is worth a lot of money. So I would just honestly look out for secondhand options, but I was very lucky these were gifted to me by my girlfriend. All right, NYC Stelvio Derbies. All right, another pair of footwear. I have showed these off in a video before, but I haven't really gotten into detail with them. These are the Nike Bodhi Astro Grabbers in the black colorway. The leather is okay. I just feel like the cream or off-white tones is what really makes the shoe. It also has these little trinkets on the lacing system of a football and a baseball, so America's favorite pastime. Also has the waffle sole at the bottom, and these kind of look like bowling shoes, and these are kind of in those trendy slimmer shoes like Sambas and those Puma Speed Cat, stuff like that. Honestly, these hurt my feet a lot. I'm usually a nine. I got a nine and a half in these. Should have got a 10 maybe, but they really squeeze my feet. So when I walk around for long periods of time, it does hurt. But overall, very nice shoe. It's very sleek, very in right now, but I do find myself gravitating towards these a lot. Okay, up next is just a pair of denim. These are the Art Legacy third cuts in the super gray wash, I believe. Has a zip fly, Art Legacy logo patch at the back as well. And just your standard two back pockets, two front pockets and just a great fitting pair of pants overall. I've been looking for a pair of dark denim or dark wash denim. I sold my Acne 2021M dark wash denim as well, so I was on the lookout to find a replacement pair, and I got these gifted from my girlfriend again. So shout out to my girlfriend. She literally buys me everything nowadays. Comparing our legacy and Acne Studios, I feel like Acne Studios has honestly a little bit more better quality with their jeans and their denim. It just feels softer to the touch and like higher quality. However, I love how these Art Legacy third cuts fit me. It's not too baggy, it's not too slim. It's literally a perfect fit. Falls perfectly on the shoe as well. So these are great for everyday wear, very versatile. If you're in the market for an everyday pair of denim, I would highly recommend these third cuts. I feel like anyone can pull them off and anyone can wear them. So Art Legacy third cut in Super Gray. My next pickup is literally just a white t-shirt. This is the Lady White Co. 2-pack of tees. So basically what we have here is 
a nice tight ribbed collar. Also, no side seams, so it flows perfectly on your body and kind of a nice, I wouldn't say slim fit, but it definitely contours the body pretty well. I feel like I could have sized up and working out, you know, going to the gym, getting jacked a little bit. So got to show off the body a little bit, but yeah, maybe next time I'll size to a medium. This is a little slim, but I still like how it fits my body. It's also made up of 100% cotton, made in the USA. So, you know, the quality is there. I've been on the hunt for the perfect white tee for a decent amount of time. I've seen a lot of videos from the Iron Snail, but I just felt like Lady White Co is what I was looking for. So if you are in the market for a t-shirt and want to upgrade from those Uniqlo Airism tees or those basic cotton tees, I feel like Lady White Co is a good stepping stone. You are getting a pack of two, so two white t-shirts. I feel like the shrinkage is not too bad as well. It only shrinked a little bit, not too much. So overall, I would highly recommend this tee if you want to elevate your wardrobe basics. I'm still on the fence about this pickup. It's a pair of pants from the brand Orly. These are just their black felted trousers. It's made out of 62% cotton, 38% silk, I believe. They feel very nice to the touch. I've been looking for a pair of belted trousers like La Mer for a while now. Uh, I've been looking at this pair specifically for months now. It sold out on Essence and then I went back in stock and I got it again on sale. But I just don't know if I like the way it fits me because of the waist area and the cinching of the belt. I don't know if it's just me or the way the pants fit. My body type but something is just off when I look at myself in the mirror in these. I really do want to like these pair of pants. I really like the brand Orly. I feel like the quality is top notch and I also like their aesthetic. However, I don't know if I can justify the price for these because I'm not in love with them and they are an expensive pair of pants. Maybe this one's just not the one for me but I'm still on the fence about it. Let me know what you think but overall very nice pair of pants. Very good quality. Just don't know how I like it fits on me. Last thing I want to show you guys is just a belt uh, I got from my anniversary with my girlfriend. So this is just a leather belt, silver hardware as well. It's from the brand Recto, which I believe is a South Korean brand. I've been on the lookout for a belt for a while now. I just use my dad's whenever I didn't have this one. I also did have the Art Legacy two centimeter belt, but I didn't like how that fit. I thought it was too thin and too feminine. Uh, this one's more bulkier, more masculine, and also like how it tucks out as well. I kind of just like how it fits on the pants a little better. Yeah, I just like how it looked better than the Art Legacy one. Recto belt. Okay, that's pretty much it for my pickups. We're just gonna go see Tyler and Simon now, see what they've gotten for the past few months, maybe even years. So we'll see what they're up to now. We got someone that went to New York, someone that went to Asia, showing off the pickups now. They have the strippers. Yo, you know the other day, oh, you're recording. First and foremost, got some gifts from New York. Pins you, from you, Oma. Do you know what that painting's called? Yo, it was actually there, the painting. The Van Gogh painting was there, Starry Night. Also, yeah, it would yeah. be really hot to throw this off. Show the people what they want to see. Take it. <laughs> is it 3M or no? Like, is it reflective? Oh, do you want a flash? Don't you have to? Yo, you want a flash? Okay. Should we just go to the light? You also have the, the path on collab too. Uh, the shoes, the cloud monsters. Yo, this guy's the whole track suit. Yeah, you got the whole collection. <laughs> the Nike tech. What can I get tech? Sledding makes me look fat, dude. Path on. Path on? Path on. Can we see a path off? Is it 3M? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, it's black. It's, it's actually my brother's. Oh, wow. I'm just borrowing it. An honest it's man. Pretty subtle. Good windbreaker type light jacket. You're a runner now, so. Dude, this is an He's extra. This is an extra small, by the way. Just so you all know, I ain't on that, I'm not that big. What would you rate the piece out of 10? Would you recommend? <sighs> piece right now, 8.5. But then it becomes a 9 when you get the full fit. Yeah. What's the full fit when you're rocking it? Got the full path. Path pants, path, path, path shoes, path, path, path socks, path undies, path half, path, 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 path. There's a lot more, but a lot more, but just wait until we go downtown. <laughs> uh, at least the a lot more, but I didn't bring it out. Shout out to Tyler for the pickups. You didn't see his Rolex yet, right? Eh? I just no. got the, <laughs> the Apple Watch. I just got the Apple Watch on. The Apple Watch. What, what is this one? The eight. The eight. Won a 25k bet. Just got the Rolex. Shout out to Bet MGM. Reminds you to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, support the locals. Mm. Not the mute hoodie. 
Shout out Jet Bentley. Into what size are you? The medium? Extra small. Okay, no, I think it's large. New it's stash we're looking at. Can't wait for the new Kobe nines. Nice. 25 degrees with the gray sweats on. <laughs> No, this was sourced by uh, the one and only Chris Kwan. Huh? This is your, technically your pickup, bro. Yeah. This is technically your pickup, but you're fat. Oh, that, that, that's you know? better life. That's better life. Yeah. Yeah. Fit in this. That, that's a size this small. Is a size small? Like it's an S? Is yeah. Like waist? It's an S? It's an S. But it's supposed to fit like a size 30 waist, but it did not fit me for some reason. Oh, it is a size small. Yeah, he washed oh, it. Damn, you fit a small. Okay, Mare explain. twisted jeans. The mare belted twisted. So we got the- Nice little belt. Got the belts. Got the twist going on, so it starts off on the side. Okay. And it also you should try them on. No, I can't right now. My balls are too sweaty. He is BSTLD. BSTLD. Ball sack stuck to leg. Ball stuck to leg disorder. Buy a pair of pants. Buy a pair of pants. Buy some footwear options. They don't know Something. about the blue ones too. Oh, the blue ones. Oh, so Ooh, oh yeah. You know, I became a track star. Shout out Strava. Yeah, four and under pace. Ooh, you hear that? These shoes make you run a four and under pace. So. Uh, Pop these joints just to run in my daily daily runners and they got that big cushion on the bottom how much time they uh reducing for you uh, two minutes i'm running at three pace they reduce check strava check his strava actually oh, don't check my nothing because <gasps> our man's are rocking Ooh. At least he's rocking them, you know? Rocking them in the night. That's how yeah, you know they're nice. In the night. Okay, I need to see the details here. Oh, go check out the, the back, the back tab. Back tab. Oh, yeah, you did. Oh, Yo, this oh. man's coming or what? <laughs> coming where? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice lacing there, too. Right here? Yeah. The six. Why are they comfy though? Yeah, they're pretty these comfy. Are the, these are the nine. You know what sucks though? They don't come in like a nine. They come in like a nine and a half or eight and a half. Mm. So it's either uh, go big or go home. Nice. Salmon X Alps. X Alps. Be comfy. Nice. Next pickup. Yeah. <laughs> and the final pickup. Pumas. So, you know, other than being a track star, man's a race car driver. <gasps> so I picked up the Puma Speed Cats. Damn, how do you feel? Yeah. Is this suede? Yeah, yeah suede. suede. So, these are. Let me see the bottom. They're like flat as f. Yeah. I wore these already. Are they comfy like or no? That's a Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4S right there. Compared to like. Like Sambas, because I yeah. sized up 0.5. The insoles. Insoles, they're like literally flat. So, you know, if man's aren't gonna Red. rock them on the street, man's gonna rock them on the it's track. Got a, got a but, pop of color, bro. Yeah. I've never seen you wear like colors like that before. Are you talking like about a shoe? Track, Shout out Max. Shout out Max. Is he sponsored by Puma? Yeah, yeah he is. Oh. Everyone's sponsored by Puma. Okay. Shout okay. out Max. Who oh. Unfortunately. Point the camera at him. <laughs> You also got a, a Korean perm. You didn't oh, tell. Oh, I forget about that one. Ooh, Ooh, didn't tell that. people about that. <laughs> oh no no no! Look at no. that one guy from the Netflix show. Three sixty. My, my, my shout out for all the pickups. It's honestly the most I copped up. Yeah. This. this How much year. did you spend this month? Wait, this month? Yeah, like, this month. Yeah, clothes and like shoes and everything. My monthly spending is over like. Really? Is that bad? He almost copped yeah, the gentle on. monster. They had a uh, not for sale glasses. Let me show you actually. I should have bought these. These joints. Oh, look how nice he looks in these, bro. How look glazing, bro. Yeah, who's that behind you, though? <laughs> <laughs> these two are both single, so hit them up now. Boy or girl, does not matter. Baby, you got something in your nose. Shout out for the pickups. <laughs> This is us before we run. How many kilometers are you gonna run? 100! We just finished our little 3K. Uh, Simon has some knee injuries. So I'll take it easy today. How'd you feel? That was pretty good. A nice 430 pace. What was that? <laughs> no. 13 something? Oh. Good, uh, get back into the motion of things. Document your journey, your, your run journey. journey. So fast, Sorry, I was just... Yo, this guy went in a four pace, bro. Four thirty. I said a six. <laughs> God, I'm yeah. terrible at keeping pace. Oh, Where can the people find you on Strava? Uh, I'm gonna have a... At oh, Simon Sue. Uh, Shout out the packs. Thanks. 
stays every day. For we'll zoom in on that. That's what, what about the leg day? What about the leg day? Yo, the leg day's cooking, bro. Yeah. The leg day's actually been solid. really cooking. Yeah, you got them nice quads. Five minutes when you do steroids. 